हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक एंड ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम दी ऑर्ब स्कूल वेलकम बैक टू मैथ्स क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू टॉपिक एंड द नेम ऑफ दैट टॉपिक आई विल टेल यू आफ्टर सम टाइम नाउ ह्योर आई हैव गॉट समथिंग फॉर यू आई हैव ब्रॉड सम चिक पीस सी आई एम टेकिंग सम चिक पीस इज हियर ओके नाउ we are not going to count them i am adding more i am adding few more what happens when we add they become more correct when we add things it becomes more let's take one more example here i have some pencils and i am adding few more pencils when i add pencils they become more correct so whenever we add objects or things they become more let's take one more example here i have two glasses of water and they are full of water now i want to add this water in another glass can i use the same size of glass no why because if i want to pour water from both the glasses i need a bigger glass it means i need a big size of a glass i cannot use the same size of glass why because we want to add both the glasses into one so if i use the same size of glass the water will not fit in it okay so i need a bigger glass it means when we add they become more yes so whenever we add it becomes more than before can you see this card i can see only one circle shape here correct so here i have got only one circle shape and if i add one more how many they are now one and two so one and one more is two can you see this card on this card i have two circles if i add one more circle how many are there now we are going to count all together it means one two and three there are three circles all together now let's take one more example on this card i have two circles yes and now i am going to add three circles in it so now we are going to see how many circles are there all together 1 2 3 4 and 5 yes so all together there are five circles before there were only two two and three more is five now let's take one more example let's see the card and we'll count how many circles are there on this card 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 circles yes now i am adding two more so let's count now 7 8 and 9 so how we have to say all together there are nine circles it means 7 and two more is 9 let's say again 7 and two more is 9 let's take one more example the last one let's count the circles 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 circles on the side now 6 and i am adding more yes so how many i am adding 1 2 and 3 so let's count all together how many were here 6 7 8 8 and 9 so all together there are nine circles so how we have to say 6 and 3 more is 9 let's repeat children you have to repeat 6 and 3 more is 9 so what are we doing we are adding things together and we are saying so one more time i am repeating that when we add we get the more number of objects than before so today we have learned addition now let's count pencils in my one hand how many pencils are there 1 2 and 
three and in my another hand there are only two pencils now i will bring them together i'll put them together and we will count when i add how many are there now okay so before there were three in one hand two in another hand when i put together they will become more and let's see how many are there one two three four and five now i have five pencils before how many were in this hand three and two more is five let's say three and two more is five now it's time to practice so let's take out our little thinker math book and let's practice counting this is our little thinker math book and in this we will practice our addition on page number 6464 we will practice our addition and for that in the left side corner we will write today's date and let's practice children you are going to count how many cabbages are here one so children you have to write number 1 here one now one and two more how many all together it means one two and three so one and two more is correct three so we will write the answer three here and now let's count the number of balls how many balls are here one and two so you will write number two here that means here we have two balls and three more how many all together so let's count 1 2 3 4 and 5 so answer is 5 but how we have to say 2 and 3 more is 5 so we have to write the answer 5 here now here we have some bugs 1 2 3 and 4 how many are there four so we have to write the answer here in the given space and here they have given three more so four and three more how many all together so let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and seven. so four and three more is seven now let's count this 1 2 3 4 and 5 how many are there 5 so we will write the answer here 5 and 3 more how many all together so let's count 5 6 7 8 so 5 and 3 more is 8 so we have to write the answer here i hope children you must have understood what happens when we put sets together it means what is addition thank you